two-dimensional photos aren't as cool as three-dimensional videos, so let me show you how to take your photo, do some camera alignment so we can model our scenery and effectively project your photo with some depth. Step one, you're gonna go outside with a mask and find some area that you wanna convert into 3D geometry. Step two, you're gonna download F5 add-on that lets you import FSpy data into Blender. This is all free, by the way, and import your photo into FSpy. Step three, you're gonna align these lines to your X and Y axes, making sure to hold downshift for accuracy where your alignment should be looking something like this. You can also use rectangular mode if you don't have well-defined lines in your shots. Anyways, when you're done, make sure to save out all your progress and move on to step four where we're Okay, step four, what we're gonna do is import our alignment into Blender and in the camera view, start roughly modeling out all your geometry. Remember, you don't need to put in that much detail here because the projected texture will make everything look super detailed anyways. Step five, you're gonna take your model and apply a material with the source image plugged in directly. Actually, this is even better. Does it look fucky? Yeah, it does, but just throw on a UV project modifier with your math camera and aspect ratio and to get rid of the distortion, just throw on a substrate for extra subdivision. Step six, pro tip, if your alignment wasn't perfect, you're gonna see a bit of texture bleeding and you can fix this padding in an extra shape key along with an extra UV map with the standard on wrap. Use this key to fix our alignment from the camera view and using the new UV map, just bake in this texture, which we now apply our material and go back to the base of shape key. And listen, I know what you're thinking, can't this be done much faster with Project From View? And yeah, yeah, it can, but Project From View is broken and I refuse to use it until that thing is fixed, so we are sticking with the UV Project Modifier, fight me. Step seven, if your photo had an object in the foreground, you're probably seeing the duplicated projection, which we don't want in the final render, so to fix this, we're just gonna need to clone stamp out this object to generate a second clean plate image, which we're gonna turn into its own material, select the areas with the duplicated projections and assign this as a new material. And there you go, you now know everything you need to know on a need to know basis, and I just wanted you to know I've been CG Matter, you've been you, bye bye So I have some pretty exciting news, but I gotta whisper it because my roommates are asleep. It's 3 a.m. and I gotta record. So anyways, this video has a sponsor and in particular, I'm excited about this one because it is very relevant to you guys, Blender users. It's called Botanique and what it's for is creating plants and trees and basically all those things that are impossible to model natively in Blender. But luckily, Botanique is coming through with those photorealistic models. So for example, here I've loaded in a shrub with HDRI lighting to get that realism and this thing just kind of looks real and by kind of I mean it looks absolutely real it take me like an hour to <laughs> just create this one asset and the nice thing about Botanique is it doesn't come with one asset it doesn't come with two but it comes with many 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 assets so once you have the add-on installed you're gonna have this little menu not nothing complicated you just click spawn asset you pick the type a lot of botany words I don't understand I don't know what a coniferous tree is but <laughs> you can choose among all those coniferous trees and also uh, pots and shrubs and whatever. So like, for example, I could load in a cedar tree, which is gonna be substantially bigger than the shrub. And you can see that right away, we get photorealistic results with a single click. On top of that, let's say we were to duplicate this because we are to make a forest or something like that. We don't want necessarily a bunch of the same tree, although we do, but we just want them to look different. We want to cheat without people noticing. Botany comes with a function exactly for that. So we can actually select one of these trees and click random transform, which is gonna give it some random random rotation. So if you are interested in Botanique and want to get it for yourself so you don't need to model plants ever again, which I don't, I got it for free, so I'm lucky, but I'm not going to be modeling plants anymore. I do have a affiliate link in the description you can use to get Botanique. The point of the affiliate link is that if you use that, instead of going directly to the Blender market, you get to both buy the thing at the same price. The price doesn't change, but I get a tiny percentage of the proceeds. So you get to both get the add-on support to the add-on creator, but also support CG Matter Default Cube. That's the point of an affiliate. Uh, link. If you are interested in this add-on in particular, I encourage you to get it because it really is a game changer. It's one of those things I don't ever want to make again. I don't want to make plants ever again. I'm done with it. No more. 